I have something new that just arrived today and I'm excited to try this guy out. This is the Acmer P2 laser engraver, 33 watt. So you've seen me do laser engravers before that can do a little bit of cutting, but otherwise are mostly for engraving. This guy here has some serious power behind it. I'm excited to try it out, especially as I'm in the new space. I wanna to put together a logo for myself and figure what better way to try this out than to do a little bit of engraving, a little bit of cutting of various hardwood species and put something together and see how it turns out. So let's see what's in the box. So the very first thing I have to say about this is I am really impressed with the packaging. It was gorgeous. Everything is in this nice foam. Even right here, I'm seeing that included in a hard case is a really substantial set of laser glasses. It's really impressive what Acma is sending out here. Let's see how these look on me. Whew, I don't know. I think that I could be a rock star. As everything says, we've got the laser module right here. Here's the air pump for the air assist. Comes with tools, accessories, the materials, take that foam out. So one thing I'm noticing right away is that this thing looks pretty heavy duty and it's, it's coming to you basically ready to go out of the box, which I think is really neat. A good amount of this foam too, like it well packaged for sure. I'm just gonna pull out the instructions I'm going to throw this thing together. I'll see you on the other side. I'm going to clean up this panel really quickly with a card scraper, and then we'll set our focus. So I've got everything basically set up the way that I want it to be here. What I need to do is find my center point, like I mentioned. So I'm going to press fire on this briefly. Right about there. Yeah, I think that's close enough to center. Let's frame this thing. At this point, we're ready to hit go. While I go ahead and prepare some Paduk and Walnut for cutting, let me share an exciting contest Acmer is running right now with opportunities to win prizes like $3,000 and a 33 watt laser just like this one. If you already have a laser engraver of some kind, join the Engrave Your Love with Acmer online competition by creating an original creation using engraving or cutting techniques out of materials like wood, acrylic, glass, paper, ceramic, leather, or metal. If you have another brand of laser, that's totally fine. You can still participate. Just make sure that no other brand names or logos are displayed in the work that you submit. Full contest rules and information are available on their Facebook group, link in the description below. And if you don't have a laser engraver, but you've decided it's time to take the plunge, Acmer has implemented their lowest prices ever on all their engraving machines until September 15th, 2023. So now's a great time to buy. Be sure to use my link in the description and go check them out. This is how I usually run lasers when I'm not trying to film them.
Hey, Plato. How you doing? There's a good dog. Yeah. And we basically vent out the back here and you have it underneath the garage door. Way healthier. I found that CA glue and a little bit of activator was the perfect combination for putting these small details in place. Even the little swooshes in the logo here, they were held together perfectly by the CA glue and I, I really wouldn't change a thing about any of this. I cleaned up the sides and put a small chamfer on with my block plane. If I had been thinking ahead, I would have used the router to put a chamfer on before I glued all the letters in place. Then it was time for finish. Uh, next time, if, if I were doing this again, because of all the small little areas I had to get into, I, I probably would have used some sort of spray finish on this to get into all the nooks and crannies. It was quite difficult. Here I'm using a brush to try getting all the Osmo top oil where it needed to go. But in the end, it looked great. Then I had another idea. I found some inexpensive laser engraved templates online that I was able to purchase for about $6 uh, to hold screwdriver bits and drill bits and all of that. I'll link those in the description as well. So I filled that up and I thought it came out really great. Okay, so let's talk pros. And, and there's some great pros on this thing. Firstly, the build quality is amazing. Second to none. Um, I honestly don't have a single complaint about the way that this thing is built. Just like they say in their marketing, it all comes put together. Uh, it's heavy duty, remarkable. Second thing that I, I love is the packaging. Uh, it, it looks professional, it's well organized. You can find everything really easily. I like that it comes with material. It comes with really good protective glasses. It's ready to go as well for using a, a rotary device down the road. Comes with the cable. Comes with some extra lenses as well for the laser, which I think is great. Coming with air assist. That's something that I'm really glad for. I think it really makes a big difference. I love that it has a spot for a TF card, micro SD, whatever it's called, for being able to transfer things without a computer. That's awesome. I love the emergency stop button. I also love that I can lock it out if my kids are in the shop. As well, being able to turn off your fire safety is, is great. Sometimes fire safeties go off for no reason. And if you're gonna be watching it anyways, big red stop button, you don't necessarily need the fire safety switch on. So being able to turn that off is really cool. I love the integrated kickstand for focusing. I, I think that, that could have been improved uh, with with some sort of way to easily make it so that you can focus down to two millimeters instead of the five millimeters some of the materials it suggests that you do that so having that built in would have been nice the fact that the air pump doesn't use its own power adapter it doesn't have to plug in separately but actually gets its power from the unit itself i was actually really really happy about that engraving quality is is awesome i'll i'll overlay a clip here of this but I've got some offcuts from that project I just did and the detail on them is absolutely amazing. The stuff that I was able to cut out with this, I was cutting materials to just over three eighths of an inch thick without any problems, single pass. Again, awesome. I'm gonna show as well some tests on plywood, but just know like quarter inch hardboard was absolutely no issues whatsoever was able to cut through that like butter i think this sign that i made it goes to show just the flexibility of a more powerful laser like this if you're going to be cutting things out you definitely want to be going with something like the acmer p2 33 watt so let's get into the things that i don't like so much i think that the the iphone app and i think that the android app is the same it's terrible i would have really liked to have seen a integrated dis touchscreen display would just be be nice. You don't have to disconnect from your existing Wi-Fi network that way to hook up an app to the proprietary Wi-Fi network. Hope that the app stays up to date because after all, we all know apps sometimes become defunct and when it becomes defunct, how do you use the wireless feature or the TF card or anything on this laser? So I think that's 
a bit of a bummer, an oversight there. Uh, as well, one thing I w would have liked to see with even the app is I, I found it doesn't always, when you ask it to turn on a positioning laser, turn on a positioning laser. As well, it seems a little bit finicky as to where the files need to be on the TF card. If they're in a folder, you can't do anything about it. So I, I would have liked to see that. I think that's my main complaint is the offline functionality isn't quite there for me. So I would like to see a touch screen in future models uh, or at least a better app. But again, I think a touch screen would be better I, as well. I would really like to be able to change the Wi-Fi on the lasers. So a way to connect it to my existing Wi-Fi network so that I can be say inside the house and check on the progress of my laser. I think that would be great. I think the accessories selection online overall is really good that Akmer offers. They've got a positioning camera that will also do time-lapse photography. They have uh, honeycombs for all different sizes of cutting areas, which I think would be really cool to try out. The, the one thing that I guess you could call is a downside is there are no extension rails offered at this time for any of their lasers. So this 400 by 430 or 420 millimeter cutting area that is on this or engraving area that is on this laser, that's all you're going to get uh, because you can't upgrade the rails or anything. On the flip side though, I know in Lightburn, there's a way that you can make indexing marks on the laser and actually do pass through. So you could technically engrave an entire sheet of plywood. So there's definitely, there's definitely options for you there. Overall, it's a great laser. I'm super happy with it. So let's really briefly talk about who this laser is for. Who is this 33 watt Acmor P2 laser for? I think it's for anybody that wants to be able to engrave very, very quickly. Uh, it, it has engraved speeds of up to 20,000 millimeters a minute or something like that. So absolutely crazy fast compared to other lasers that I've used. I would also say if you want to be cutting through materials thicker than about an eighth of an inch or so, and you want it done with a diode laser, you don't want to drop the big bucks on a CO2 laser, this is definitely your candidate as well. Now on the flip side, let's say that you're budget constrained and all you want to do is engrave and maybe cut out the odd thin strip of something. In that case, I would definitely check out this video right here of the longer Ray 5 10 watt laser that I reviewed previously. Um, it's a great option for that. Will I be using that longer laser again? Mm, probably not. Uh, I really like this Acmer laser. I'm probably going to be listing the longer for sale. That said, budget wise, it's a good laser. Fantastic laser. I, I wholeheartedly recommend both these lasers. It just depends what you're looking for and what your budget is. So there's a lot more garage content coming up, more in the build. As you can see, I'm standing in the garage, so I'm just catching up on some videos. So stick around with me. Don't worry, this isn't gonna become a, uh, a laser review channel or anything like that. My focus is still on woodworking. It will remain on woodworking, but I love to be able to pull in new tools and new materials into my processes. So uh, check back in a week or two where we're gonna have another update on the garage build there for you. And until next time, make sawdust, not excuses.